What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a chill street photography walk and talk style video and it's going to feature photos that were taken on my Instax Mini Evo. This is a new hybrid digital film camera and I'm really excited to show you what it can do. I'd like to talk more about the camera but I think I'm going to save that for a review video because I also have a lot of things to say about Minneapolis and what makes this city surprisingly fun to photograph. So right now you're seeing some footage of the downtown core, and this is where all these towering glass buildings are, but there's also a few really unique features, particularly these bridges that go out over the streets, I believe they're called skyways, and there's a ton of these in downtown Minneapolis. I've been to other cities that have them, Calgary for example, but I was really struck by how many of these skyways Minneapolis has. It's a really interesting architectural feature that is really fun to photograph, particularly in street photography where you can kind of wait for people to pass through the skyways and get interesting silhouetted shots. Now that wasn't super possible for me with the Instax Evo because it's got such a wide lens, but it was a lot of fun to shoot on my digital camera with my 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So as I'm walking through the downtown core, I'm kind of taking stock of things that catch my eye. And I noticed this building coming up from quite a ways away. <laughs> and I kind of made my way towards it. It wound up having some really beautiful opportunities for these great reflection shots. Now the water itself creates a reflection of the building and I was able to pair that with the Instax Evo's mirror effect setting to create this shot, which honestly is one of my favorite shots of the day. I lingered around here for quite some time trying to get the absolute perfect angle and I'm really pleased with the shots that I came away with. Once I was done photographing that building, I took a left turn into the warehouse district, which might not have been the best idea in terms of finding things that were photographable with a wide lens. <laughs> so there's a lot of shorter buildings here, a lot of really interesting textures, um, the buildings are a lot older, but nothing that made a particularly striking wide angle street photo. I did experiment a bit with the split frame option in the Instax Evo around here, and honestly, I wasn't thrilled with this capability. I wandered through this warehouse district for probably longer than I should have before veering off and heading towards the banks of the Mississippi River. This wound up being a great choice. I didn't get many great shots of the Mississippi River, but it was a really cool experience walking along through this parkway and finding this beautiful verdant area to kind of take my mind off of the bustle of the city for a bit. But pretty quickly after I got to this part of the park, it started raining. And so I walked along in the rain, shielding my cameras, I had three of them on me, until I came across this really weird group of people. And at first I thought it was a wedding, and then there was some politician. I asked one of the security guys hanging around there and he said he didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was like, surely you must. And shortly after that came to this bridge. I tested out the monochrome color setting in the Instax Evo, and I do like it, though I wish it had a bit more contrast. And you'll see coming up, I tested out another color setting underneath this bridge, and that is the blue setting, which I think I like, but I don't know yet. <laughs> I've only taken two pictures with this blue setting, and you're about to see the other one, which I think it worked out a lot better for this one because of the contrast with that orange piece of machinery. So after this second bridge, I continued down the riverside path and eventually came to this area, which was called Mill Ruins. And sure enough, it had the ruins of this old mill. And this was one of my favorite places, maybe in the whole city. I actually didn't get that many photos here, but I really liked the vibe. You know, you've got new things being built on top of old things, but still incorporating some of the damage of the old things and preserving that. I just think it's a really, really cool way to treat buildings. After that, I decided it was time to start walking back to my hotel. I had been walking for about three hours at this point. I did get some pretty great shots on the way back though, particularly <laughs> this one that I gotta say, I am weirdly proud of, <laughs> uh, mostly just because the footage fits so well with the image and you can see it here. So this was taken with the vivid color setting on the Instax Evo and I definitely just keep it set to vivid now because I think it looks so good. But yeah, kind of retracing my steps. I had a lot more fun photographing the architecture here than I expected to given what I know about Minneapolis being somewhat car dependent and suffering from urban sprawl. I didn't expect the downtown core to be quite as visually stimulating as it wound up being. So color me impressed and pleasantly surprised by how interesting Minneapolis was to photograph, how compelling a lot of the locations I visited were. After taking the time to explore and photograph this city, I'm happy to say that 
I was pleasantly surprised by how visually interesting so much of the city is. And I can happily say that if you're spending a day or two in Minneapolis as a photographer, you won't be disappointed. Thank you guys very much for watching, for taking the time to check out some of my street photography. Do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and a comment letting me know what you thought. I'll see you guys next week with a very exciting video. And in the meantime, I want you guys to stay sharp and don't forget to keep shooting. Bye guys.